This home on wheels has a space to sleep like a log, to knock up a great recipe, to feast on that chef special, to loosen up afterwards, or party hard with your own discotheque. You can be enjoying the front view or climb up to get some fresh air. You can do it all, everywhere and anywhere, but only when you're traveling in this castle on wheels. Hello adventure lovers and welcome back to a brand new episode of A Walk Through the Conversion. This is your host Vidushi. If you are just hopping on to the caravanning overlanding culture in India, then we are proud to tell you that Motorhome Adventures is a three decade old company that rents and builds all things home on wheels and more. Ranging from a club on wheels to election campaign vehicle, food truck and of course caravans, RVs, motorhomes. You name it and we can most definitely build it. In today's episode, we will be walking through a conversion that is more than just a fortress. The name is Castro, which literally translates into castle in Greek. It is a BS6 4200 wheelbase Aisher chassis. This is a joint venture of Aisher and Volvo Pro 6016. A four cylinder engine with 210 HP of engine power. So without the further ado, let's walk through this color. in a cabin side blue which I personally like a lot if you are a mantle level member of our channel you must have already seen the behind the scenes of this one if not here is the before and after the paint job so this blue really adds a pop of a color and personality to this conversion now before we actually talk about the conversion I want you to understand the term chassis so all our monocoque shell based conversions on Temo Traveler such as Willow, Cavalier, Rambler etc. These are all monocoque shell based conversions. Same goes for the Tata winger based conversions such as Lounge Mini, Bourbon yada yada yada. These are all conversions which have a pre-built shell, a pre-built exterior and a chassis on the other hand our chassis based conversions would be Sliding Drone, Modesty which is a conversion that we did for a monk in Bhutan. Then we have Royal Cadet and Leviathan. These are all chassis based conversions. These are all just the skeletons on top of which we built the complete four walls as well as the shell. And same goes for Castro. Castro is a chassis based conversion. So we only had the bare bone, the skeleton on top of which we created, we customized the complete shell. So the complete body has been built using a high grade aluminum. Now that we have discussed that, let's talk about the actual conversion. You know the drill, we are first going to talk about the exterior, roundabout from the driver to the co-driver side and then in we go. First up about the base vehicle, so we have custom fitted rear air suspensions. Now about the vehicle, about the fascia, if you are a 90s kid, this is surely going to remind you of Lofty. I know I've said it in a couple of other videos, a couple of other walkthroughs, but this one really hits home. Also because of this top cab over design that we have, which is also there in one of our oldest caravan, which is almost three decades old now. As for the vehicle, we have standard lights on the top. So five on the front, five on the rear. Then we have these lights. We have a projector light. We have a fog light as well as the indicator. And now we are going to move to the driver's side. So you'll notice, although we have ample space in here, but we have not created a lot of boot space. And the reason for that is because most of our tanks, that is your AdBlue tank, your 500 liters freshwater tank, as well as your 80 liters septic tank are all stored on this side. Now we are going to move to the rear. So this is where we have the freshwater inlet. Now this area right here is where we have the EU 70 IS silent petrol genset stored in. So you simply open it, 
pull out your genset and it's again going to get connected to the earth creating very minimal amount of vibration. Now on the top you can see we have a couple of speakers on the rear as well as the sides. We are going to talk about that later in the video. Coming to this side, this right here is our outsource. So whenever the caravan is stationary and you want to basically not use maybe your genset or maybe the actual engine power, then you can simply connect this to an electric outsource and you can use the complete caravan without any noise. Coming back to the co-driver side. So on the top you can see we have two awnings so each of these can open up and provide you a good shade on sunny day as we have one today apart from that this right here is a storage space and this area right here is the mitochondria of this caravan when stationary so in here we have our dc to dc compressed lithium ion batteries of 880 ah we have two units of 440 ah which you can also increase depending on the requirement that you have now apart from that you can charge these batteries through four ways so you have the solar panel as well as your alternator which is the slow charge and then you have the genset or the electric outsource which is going to be your dash charge so we have tried and tested these batteries on a very excessive temperature as well and we have a provision of working with these batteries on both cold and hot temperatures so before we talk about the actual conversion i want you to understand the floor plan here is a pictorial reference so it is divided into three parts four if you consider the bathroom Room. so number one is the cabin space then we have a private room then we have the dining or living room and then we have the bathrooms yes there are two bathrooms in this one but first we'll hop on to the cabin space So in the cabin area, we have seating for just the driver because the client wanted to maintain the rest of the area for sleeping purpose of two people. So we have one and two people sleeping space in here. Apart from that, you can see that the complete interior has been done using the art leather. And this is just a heads up, the customization. When we say we are customizing something, we mean that we're not just customizing the floor plan, but also the aesthetic, the color palette as per your taste as per your requirement in this conversion particularly the client wanted to use four colors primarily so we have beige we have the woody tones the oak wood as well as rubber wood and then we have a pop of color which is turquoise in this case so we have two colors going here Apart from that, on the dashboard itself, we have the complete panel of fiber, which has been painted in a woody tone. We have a nine inch Android screen. Apart from that, we have speakers, a fan, and that is that about the cabin. We are now going to move to the rest of the area. So we are now to the entryway of the actual salon area. In here, we have a fog light on the top, and this is a stairway that opens or operates through a pneumatic pressure. So as you can see, through the pressure of the air, we simply have our stairs roll down and then we are going to go inside. So right when we enter, the first thing that we have is our control panel here. So all the lights, the LED, etc., are all operated through this area. Now we are going to enter on the room on our left hand side, which is the private room. So we open it and in we go. So right when we enter, the first thing that we can see is this huge cab over bed. This is approximately an eight by six feet of area. As you can see, this can easily sleep up to three people. That is three adults and one kid or even three adults for that matter. Apart from that, we have the windows on the front and the side. The complete top as well as the sides have been done using the art leather, which is stitched in a diamond. And on the top, we have a 46 by 24 inches hatch, which you can use whenever you want to hop onto the rooftop area or if you want the rooftop access at all. Speaking of the access, you may be thinking, how is one going to hop up on the roof? So for that, we have this ladder, a foldable ladder. Simply undo it, fix it right here, and then you can climb on the top. Apart from that, we have 
two drop down beds in here so with a simple drop you have your bedding area same goes for that area right there then you have a sofa so all in all in this room we have a sleeping space of one two three four five six seven people in total apart from that you can see we have a 1.1 ton static ac currently this ac is giving us a lot of coolness and this is currently functioning on the genset so you cannot hear the genset right now and that is how silent this patrol genset is apart from that we have the speakers about which we are going to talk up later on during the walkthrough and then we have the tv of course the intercom all the lights are working on a dc setup this is basically a private room and in addition to the sofa areas we also have the storage not just inside the sofa but also right here you can see here we have our complete cushioning and all stored in then we also have cup holders right here and now we are going to move back to the actual area which is the salon or the dining space next up is the dining space that we have so as you can see we have our sofa space or a dining area with a table so this is a rubber wood table we have four cup holders in this one and again the pop of turquoise may be a lot for you but that is what the client wanted to opt so that is what we have provided so this is the sofa this is another sofa together they make a good dining area but apart from that this is also something that converts into a bedding space for two people <laughs> Then we have another drop down bed up right here and another one on the opposite side. So this one right here is another drop down bed that we have which we are going to undo from here and then it simply drops down. <laughs> going to send it back up because I want to show you this wardrobe space so we have a huge rubber wood counter and we have ample storage space inside right now we have all the weird amenities stored in but this again being a camper van that can easily sleep up to 11 people so we had seven people's accommodation on the front then we have eight nine ten eleven people's accommodation in total so we have ample storage space even inside this sofa or that sofa and then we have a couple of wardrobes right here moving on to the kitchen space so in here we have our beautiful kitchen area now this may not be as spacious as the one that you have at home but this is a big enough kitchen an open enough kitchen i'd say so we have a fridge a microwave storage space where you can store your amenities your kitchen utensils then additional storage space right here as you can see because the client has already used this caravan we have the spice box the cutting board and let's explore more so here we also have some other amenities as i said they have already used the kitchen so it's completely full and then this one right here has plates utensils etc and the last one has our bowls and plates now that is another storage wherein you are going to store your cylinder so you need to always always carry a blast proof cylinder speaking of the counter top we have a two top burner apart from that we have this frp sink a faucet drinking water on the top here we have our exhaust another set of storage another set of storage wherein we have our oil sugar and what not and then because whenever you're going to be cooking on the inside you're basically going to require ventilation although the exhaust is going to do most of the work but still if you require some you can simply undo this and you basically have your top hung ventilation or window setup next up we have our two bathroom spaces <laughs> So 
So in this one, the client wanted to have two separate bathrooms, one for the client itself, which has a shower and all the shenanigans, and another one, this one particularly, for the staff members on board. So we're going to hop onto the first one. So this is the overview. My sound is going to change a bit. Please bear with me. So in here, we have a urinal. Then here, we have the sink. And on the opposite side, we have the soap holder, the vanity mirror with LED lights, a towel hanger, a shampoo dispenser, soap dispenser. Let's move to the other one. So in the bathroom area, in this bathroom particularly, we have a shower, an overhead shower basically, a hand shower. All the highlights are in black color and the hardware is powder coated in black. Other than that, we have the FRP sink. Then we have the louver window with the emergency door. And most importantly, we have the pneumatic commode. Now, if you are new here, then welcome to this segment of the video. But if you are someone who has been on our channel, I think you can literally beside this portion of the video by heart so building bathrooms on wheels is our usp we have been building these bathrooms on different wheels on different vehicles and we have done this for many paramilitary services as well as our caravans so these bathrooms that we build these are basically the reinforced fiber polymer based bathrooms meaning the material that we use is very lightweight it is very much weather friendly and it is very easy to maintain but on top of that what we do use is the commode that we have created we have customized in-house only and this is something that again similar to the ladder that we had seen uses the pneumatic pressure so what it does is basically the water consumption per flush is reduced to up to 300 ml per flush which if you compare with the commode that you have at your home that basically uses 15 liters of water per flush and whenever you are on an off-grid location like such you require very minimal water otherwise you're going to exhaust your fresh water tank pretty quickly if you're interested you can get this very bathroom or maybe a different design fitted in your existing customization in your existing wheels as well as for the standards we have the led light on the top as well as a mirror with a vanity light and now we are on to the finale because castro is also a vehicle which is going to be utilized as an election campaign vehicle we have provided a high quality sound system so we have the qsc u USA active speakers. A quick difference between the active versus passive speakers is that the active speaker do not require an external amplifier whereas passive speakers do. Apart from these speakers in here we have a complete sound system as you could see on the outside and then the final detail on which I am standing right now. So this is basically a hydraulic lift that functions through a 24 volt DC power pack which is right there on the control panel. So up top as you can see we have a 24 by 24 inches hatch using that we are going to now go up so we are now onto the rooftop area as you can see we have a huge enough area now you can be sitting here and be enjoying your lunch on a good weather day which is not today we have scratching heat and extreme weather today but other than that you can also use this particular area during your election campaigns and whatnot that brings me to the point castro is an asset that you can easily rent maybe for a caravanning purpose or for your election campaigning ventures apart from that on the top here we have railing which is going to provide you ample support and this complete area is very sturdy i'll insert a couple of pictures of how many people were standing on this particular area as for the lift also it can easily take up a load of up to 300 kgs approximately as i said if you're interested in renting castro you can do so through the link which is going to be mentioned in the description box or you can be visiting our website which is www.motorhome.co.in and as for the conversion if you really like this conversion if you want to have something of this sort be built for your requirement you can visit our website that's www.caravanconversion.com we have a lot of more conversions in our arsenal and we can always custom build high quality amenities for your requirement so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel as i said we have a lot more coming 
really, really soon. And that is that for this walk through the conversion. Motorhome Adventures, signing off.